so I went to an auction today and they had some stuff like um, a Loran receiver I believe a 1741A oscilloscope I have no idea what this is this might be some sort of antenna balancer uh, I have no idea a Brule and Gare uh, multimeter that was once at NASA um, five bucks for a little larger you know I used to take pictures um, not even uh, sweep vertical gain that's probably an oscilloscope uh, Heath kit um, uh, sync or a TV alignment generator so um, uh, basically a, uh, a signal generator with um, pulses at various points and then a whole bunch of CB radios well I, I had to buy that box because they, there's they were selling lots of this like so four boxes of crap <laughs> crap um, for 20 bucks um, there was um, a bunch of um, panel meters in there so um, this is a DC milliamps, uh, 10 milliamps, a whole bunch of different um, ammeters. Um, a few uh, of these multimeter, a couple of these multimeters. Um, so uh, depending on which range you want. But I mean, at, for the, at the very worst, what are you, you going to do? You're going to use that, that panel meter, right? Um, don't think I'll ever build a guitar, but there's... Um, there's that. There's this thing. This will be a fun teardown. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever had one of these as a kid. I've never seen one. But uh, it's called a Teddy Rump Ruxpin. And in the back of it is a tape recorder. <laughs> so it'll be fascinating to find out what what is on that uh, what is on that tape that's for sure holy smokes so yeah and like the batteries aren't even corroded so it looks like it needs you know maybe it does, does need c-cells but anyways but another one of the the scores was what appears to be i well i'm guessing i'm guessing that this is a geiger counter but I'm not 100% sure. Account master? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. But this is some sort of a timer, I'm guessing. So your counts per, per time is what you're looking for, I'm guessing. And in any event... That's what we got in there. So we got a couple of trim pots. And we've got the meter. There's not really, well, you know, there's some stuff to it, but, um, and that is just tape that was holding down the battery. So that's an easy fix. And then we've got, or was it tape that was just holding down the batteries? But anyways, there's the batteries. Battery holder there. Not sure what that, um, that was for perhaps that's where you stored the probe when you weren't using it. Um, what else came in that box? Or oh, that? Um, I'm not sure what this little guy is either. Um, a small oscilloscope, Lambda, New York City, um, horizontal gain, off intensity, an MM2 oscilloscope. Um, Pretty application specific oscilloscope, if you're asking me anything. There was a uh, oh, uh, splicer for TV. Yeah, or uh, uh, sorry, a splicer for um, tape. Um, there's also a field strength indicator. 
Um, oh man, yeah, like how to detect and measure radi radiation um, was in, in that box. That's why I think that's a Geiger counter. And this, of all things, was my university <laughs> physics um, text, or electronics text in uh, first year engineering. So, score. I got rid of that ages ago. I don't know why. Well, yeah, I know why. But anyway, so that was that was just like one box of of miscellaneous stuff that also included a couple of CB radios, a couple more CB CD radio CB radios. Um, at least I'm guessing. Twenty three channel CB transceiver. Yep. So there is that. There's this thing that is um, bizarre to me. Shunt instrument. You know. Yeah. A. Uh, yeah, that's the lamps. What are those for? Anyways. Um, disc washer. Record washer, which the foam in that would be dead. Just have to replace the foam. And then a uh, voltage tester. Not sure. Oh, probably for batteries or some sort of specific cell. All right, so there was, there was a, oh wait, there's another box under here, which I think just had more radios in it. Oh yeah, it didn't just have radios. There's a, an old Halicrafters CB. There is a, Sure reverberation PA system, and then a few more CB radios. Um, and this was a new inbox Lafayette HP 525F, whatever the heck that is. Probably another CB, but yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't know why I did this. Well, I know why I did this. But I don't know why I did this. There were a couple of pieces that I really wanted. Like I did this, this is just a nice thing to have. Clean that up a bit. Mississippi test support operation uh, is the people who owned it. GE was servicing it. Uh, calibration was due a while ago. Not surprising. But, oh my gosh. Look at, this. Look at the size of the input pins on that thing. Like, that's, that's crazy. I wonder how many, you know, a thousand volts? <laughs> a thousand volts. Either, oh, there's probably batteries in there. Oh, and that switch is, oh, so stiff. And a nice, uh, nice timer with the darkroom supplies, and there was there's two lenses for the for the enlarger. This this was. I mean, I couldn't pass it up. They they were they were trying to get rid of it for five bucks, so I took it. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Anyways, yeah. So. Um, That happened to me.